Sorry. Helen, bring me in the dance hall racket. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I'm filming pretty much the last video of the year for you guys. Uh, I kind of put this off like three days. I should have filmed it three days ago. But this is my final book haul of 2023. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Megan. And uh, welcome. We do stuff. Hope you enjoy. But today specifically, we're gonna show off my last book haul, which isn't just like single-handedly my own book haul. It also is the books that my mom picked up and my children picked up during the Barnes and Noble sale. They had like 33% off of their hardcovers, but they also stacked your members discount on it. So it was like 43% off. It was nuts. And then if you spend $50 on hardcovers, you get $20 off. So girl math, right? We're getting a free book. Anyways, if you want to see the books that I hauled, just keep watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to check out all of the new videos we have planned and that I planned for this upcoming year. Like, like look at this stack. Look. Oh, let's go back here. Look at this stack. Uh, I actually only had cash on me, so I bought all of my books for, um, I had $200 in cash and that's all I was spending on this, so I think I ended up spending like 290 something, give or take. Let's start off by showing off the two, let's move back. I'm like sitting crisscross applesauce-esque on the floor. I don't know, I can't do this very often, but I just wanted to get one last video out with, you know, the tree before it goes away for the whole year. So the two books that my mom picked up is Murder in a Milltown. And I think this takes place near us. Where did she say it was? Oh, I didn't say. It was just said a New England mill town. So anyways, this isn't mine. Maybe I'll read it. It looked really good based off of what she said. And this isn't one that I would like a genre that I read often. So I can put it on my... Uh, my book bingo card for the members that I did. Oh, self plug. If you're in the third tier, you we have a nostalgia pizza party. Like, you know, like book it pizza. Yeah, that's going on in there. And so if you want to join, join now. Uh, we've got till the end of the week to join before I send out our pizza passports for the members. And yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. I have so many fun things planned. We've got it's going to be so fun. I keep collecting stickers for everybody because everybody loves stickers. I'm so excited to send these little things out next week. Anyways, one of the challenges for that is a book bingo card that I put together and it's crazy because that's for the whole quarter. And one of them is like a genre you don't normally read. So that was why I made that note and that's why we made that tangent. But again, that's, that's for you guys and I'm just, literally so excited for all of that my mom also picked up this one which is the scandalous confession of lydia bennett witch this also looked really really good again hardcovers were on sale another book that was on sale which was my son's pick if you don't know Ryden, he is around they're not here right now they went grocery shopping so he picked this one out which is Allies, D-Day, One Chance to Unite, Everything to Lose. This looked r really, really good. Tesla decided to just sit on a box. This is the book that Ryden chose. It looked really good. Again, this was on sale because it's a hardcover. It was hard. It was on sale for all hardcovers, which like literally blew my mind. But not all of my haul is hardcovers. He's really, really into World War II right now. So if you don't know, I homeschool Ryden and we like unschool him, unschool style him. So. Right now, his entire curriculum is like learning about World War II, and he's loving it. I'm sorry if you just saw the ghost of Aurora pop up. She is, she's missing Vlogmas and being in every video. He also picked the I Survive September 11th. Um, I keep forgetting that my kids are of the generation that have like, have to learn this like in history and they weren't actually like, they don't have memory of where they were, like light bulb burn. I think it's, that's what the technique's called, light bulb burn, where it's like a flash and you know exactly where you were, where something traumatic actually happened. 
So he picked this one up, even though it's like below his level, it just, he likes these little snippets of history. He's very history. He is very into history right now. And then he also picked up these two Five Nights at Freddy's. One is the graphic novel, which is this one, Fazbear Frights Graphic Novel Collection 1. And then we've got Five Nights at Freddy Fazbear Frights, which is not a graphic novel, so it's actually got words in it. I intend to read this. I'm really excited about that one. Not so much about the graphic novel, but he, he had a fun time picking out his books. And then my all for Aurora. We got some biscuit books. Yes, I know Ryden picked out more. She only wanted to pick out two because she likes, there we go, no ring light. She likes to go to the library and read the library books and she wanted to make sure that she really liked these ones and she didn't want to buy a bunch of books that were gonna sit. Girl has more logic than I do. Like, what is this? I don't want to buy books so they sit. I actually want to just buy the books that I'm gonna read right now and we'll come back when I want more. Who does that? Apparently my second born. All right, now, it, now we can get into the like nitty gritty, which would be the books that I picked out from this sale. I'm sorry if you can hear everybody. Everybody um, upstairs is home right now and I don't know how, how much that is going to echo because you can hear them just walking around. Anyways, let's start off with my hardcovers because that was what was on sale. So I picked up Night's Edge, which is Ghouls Who Read January book pick. So if you're not familiar with Ghouls Who Read, Ghouls Who Read is my public book club that anybody can join. Uh, the only reason I don't have the Discord link down below is because I'm trying to keep people who actually want to engage and be part of it in it. So if that's something you want, uh, message me over on Instagram and I can get it to you or comment down below and we'll figure out how to get you in there because again I just don't like stagnant people sitting in the group <laughs> but this is our choice for January I know Katie I think actually read it already and I'm literally just putting this video up right now on January 1st for you guys she really enjoyed it I'm really excited I don't know much about it I know it's got vampires in it Lev read the synopsis and he's like is that you I was like what do you mean is that me anyways I'm really excited to read this I hope this is something you guys enjoy reading but that was my first choice the next book that I picked up, which I've had on my like want to buy list, is Schrader's, Schrader's Cord. I am terrible at these kind of names. Too many letters. I don't know much about it, but I got, when I was getting the, <laughs> when I was getting like targeted ads, the ads for this book were such a vibe. It snagged me, it encapsulated me, encapsulated, enticed me. There we go to want to buy this so I actually don't know but obviously most of my books are going to be horror reads because I'm not a cozy girl I don't do cozy that's why we've been doing live streams I'm really excited for this one actually and then I had made a post on my Instagram asking you guys to pick which one and you guys put it as a tie and then after I checked out it loaded that it wasn't a tie so I ended up getting both of these which is Burn the Negative by Josh Winning. Josh Winning? I just realized I'm not saying authors. Anyways, I got this one. Sorry, ring light. And this looked so good. This was such a vibe. Everything, I'm gonna take a shot every time I say it. it's such a vibe. Ugh, we're already starting this year off with vibes. And then Silver Nitrate by Sylvia Morno Garcia. Morno? Mor Moreno? Moreno Garcia. Sorry. This, that's why I don't say people's names. That was why I wasn't reading the authors. This one looked so good. I had my mom try and pick one out for me. And she's like, they sound very similar in like the essence of what they're going to be. Anyways, twist my arm. Both came home with me. Those are all of the hardcovers that I bought. And then because I was there and I had Christmas money and these weren't on sale or anything, I had to, you know, get a couple more books while we were there. I had to get The Handyman Method by Nick Cutter and Andrew F. Sullivan. Because if you don't know, I am 
absolutely obsessed with Nick Cutter. The, the Troop, literally my all-time favorite book ever that I've ever read. It haunts me in the best way. If I can get anybody to read it, I will. I will pass on that ick for all of you because I want to share it with you guys. It's, I compare, it's just, if you can't do like animal cruelty, I mean, it's not really for you. It's like Lord of the Flies meets like, I, I wanted to say like Resident Evil almost, but like literally my favorite book ever. So when I saw this one, you know, I had to get it because I don't know. I don't think I know much about any of these books, honestly. I just, they looked so good to me. Yeah, and only, my mom's like, why'd you get this one? Nick Cutter, obviously. I picked up Near the Bone because this was December's read for Ghouls Who Read, and hopefully I can finish this before I have to do my review for it. But I just wasn't, I couldn't get into it via ebook, so on my Kindle. So we had to get a tick. Yeah. We had to get a tangible copy to try it. Uh, this looked really good with this like wintry vibes. This one I specifically picked up for Lev. Again, it was on my TBR and it was on the bookend that was like local authors. So this is The Street Between the Pines, JJ Allo. I had a friend message me and say that this map is actually of the town that's like right over from her. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. So she like doesn't want to read it just because it's like literally really close to her. But this looked so good and I'm excited for this. I love the cover, this cover, such a vibe. There we go, take a shot guys. I love that this is a Southern New England horror novel on the bottom here because I was like, what? Connecticut, Rhode Island, like I guess because so I just it made me laugh so much that it's Southern Connecticut because I guess Maine, Massachusetts aren't I feel like a lot of things take place like up in <laughs> Northern New England and so I just I don't know why I'm getting a kick out of it. and the last book that I picked up in this haul would be a hot would be Hyde And again, I just I don't get out often, so when I had the opportunity and some Christmas cash, I needed to act on it because there were so many books that I wanted to get that I just like, I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through all of this stack and when I'm gonna read them. But sorry about that, Love literally just called and he wanted to make sure <laughs> he got the right groceries because if you watched Vlogmas, you guys will, uh, you'll know. I'll, I'll, I'll put a, card somewhere up here for our vlogmas playlist because this uh, that last week of vlogmas uh groceries were a were a fun thing for him <laughs> fun anyways that was our uh, last huge haul i mean when i talk about it and i talk about it really fast it does not seem like that many but one two three four five six seven eight eight books for myself that's that's a lot i feel like that's a lot and then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's a 16 book haul, okay? But it's not all for me. Oh my gosh, big stretch. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for us today. So if you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe because I'm so excited for this new year. I just bought like this really awesome uh, book tracking planner. I'll link it down below, the Etsy shop that I got it from. I am so excited to actually go into this year. Uh, I feel like I was robbed of half of my year last year and all of the planning that I did. So like to get like my refresh to try that again. Uh, I'm just so excited. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. I'm a fan for a rack in my area, yeah?